welcome to our fourth CSEC English A class. The topic today is understanding the audience and the purpose for writing. The objectives of today's class was to examine a range of texts to determine what's the audience and the purpose of those texts. And you're supposed to justify why you think that's the audience and the purpose. So last week we learned that critical thinking helps us to analyze data. And when we reflect on the observations that we make when we're critically thinking, it provides us with answers and we gain knowledge. And the knowledge derived from these answers make us better communicators. And that's what English ACSEC is all about, making us excellent communicators. Now the writing process is our guide to how we can become excellent communicators. Today we looked at text for clues, where we interrogated the text, we interrogated our CSEC prompts, and we looked at how we can get information about our audience and our purpose or the writer's purpose and what they wanted us, the audience, to gain from their writing. We looked at how form can tell us what is the intention. We also looked at certain specific verbs that guide us into what we should be doing when we are doing our own writing. For example, inform, persuade, request, etc. We can also interrogate text by looking at the title or reading the introduction. We can look at thesis statements and topic sentences, as well as the outline in order to gain the main ideas. Now, based on the ideas, we can infer the intention of the author, meaning, what did he intend for us to learn when he first started writing this? That would be the purpose. So his purpose will always be towards a targeted demographic. And this target demographic is what we call our audience. Now, in your own writing, we learned how you can manipulate language to appeal to different levels of audience. We looked at children's stories and their focus on simple sentences and repetition. Then we looked at, let's say, kids' stories, children's stories. And we saw how those sentences became more and more complex until we got to academic writing, where we saw mainly complex sentences with sources and rich data. If you want to practice elevating your language, consider looking at sentences and looking at your own speech and how you speak and how you communicate. Try not to use as many simple sentences and try to elevate your writing and your discussion to more complex and compound sentences. And this makes you an excellent communicator because it makes your work succinct and flows better. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Happy Independence!